This next video, I actually want to show you how to create a folder, or excuse me, a subfolder within a bucket. But just interesting thing is though, um, actually a subfolder really isn't a subfolder within a bucket. It's actually considered an object. But, you know, for simplicity, and so that we can kind of connect things to what we're already familiar with, uh, let's just call it subfolder, but knowing that it's actually an object uh, in S3. So what I mean by that is if I go into like my S3 OSK bucket in here and I create a folder, I'm really actually creating an object. Um, but this is, you know, saying folder name. And I think that just kind of keeps the connection, um, you know, in our mind. So I'll just call it test. And so here I see that I have like my test folder. So anyways, if, um, um, so we'll just kind of keep using the terminology folder, but just know that uh, it's interchangeable. And then if you ever see like the word object come up, um, you know that it can potentially, potentially, excuse me, um, mean a folder or I mean, excuse me, a subfolder or an actual file within your S3 bucket. So, um, okay. And anyways, that being said, let's go ahead and get right to it. Uh, we're going to tinker with our S3 OSK bucket, the one where we uploaded our profiles 07, and, um, and then just add some subfolders to it. So let's go ahead and create a new file. And we call this uh, 04 create subfolder.py. Okay, so we'll need to import our Bado3 library. Um, instance call that client instance and so it's a client equals okay, client three. Uh, and we'll say like our target we'll, we'll find some variables here and we'll say our target bucket is s3 dot osk bucket dash 3000 and of course your bucket name is going to be different so uh, just choose which target you want and we'll give our subfolders some names right so we'll say subfolder 01 is equal to example and we want to end it with like this forward slash um, so that it can create the subfolder um, and then subfolder 2 is equal to test folder Okay, and I think that should be pretty much it. So now we're gonna call our client and we're gonna use the put object method or use the put object method, excuse me. And the, uh, it's gonna take two parameters actually. It's gonna say uh, which bucket do you wanna put the object, object in and that's gonna be our target bucket. And then key is gonna refer to like the object that we're gonna uh, place in there. And we're gonna place our subfolder Right, object, so subfolder one, and we'll do this for subfolder two as well. So like now when we go back to this, inside this S3 bucket, not only will we see the profiles 007 CSV file, but we'll expect to see these two subfolders. Um, now, in the past or recently, we've been re retrieving all our list of all the buckets, but this time we actually want to um, list the objects within a bucket. So um, I'm gonna create a variable, call it all objects, and store the list objects methods uh, response. And, uh, and, the, and the parameter that it takes is bucket, and it's basically our target bucket. So we're saying list all the objects in our target bucket. So if we create these two subfolders, and it already has this profiles 007 there, we should get the profile 007 CSV file and of course the two subfolders once um, we create these subfolders. So we can put some comments in here. Create subfolder objects. Okay. Then retrieve object info from bucket. Okay, that's what we're doing. And so uh, this again gives us like a um, dictionary of metadata like, like we've seen in the past. So all we're gonna do is just kind of like iterate through metadata 
and list objects. So we're going to say for A and all objects. And it's going to be contents. Print. And we're going to print the key, again, which will hold the name. And we're also going to print another uh, piece of information of metadata, which is the last modified. And that's useful because like, if you just start dive, delving into and print like the all objects response, um, you'll see all the kind of data that you can like kind of extract and, and, and get from your objects, uh, from your information, like from your, from your, the, the data files that you're storing, right? From your files that you're storing in S3. So it's pretty nifty just to kind of explore that. So we're going to return the, um, the object's name um, and then also the, the date that that's modified, which is basically the day that we, or the last date that we uploaded or whatever the last modified date happens to be. So we'll go ahead and save that. Go to our terminal, type Python 04, create subfolder, hit enter. Okay, uh, attribute error, SG object has no attribute list objects. Oops, I'm sorry, list, did I say list object? No, I meant list objects. There we go, with an S. Let's try that one more time. Okay, here we go. So now um, we created the example folder. We have this profiles CSV, and then we have this test folder. And if we go to our S3 bucket, the, three, the bucket 3000, and we refresh the contents, we see that we have exactly what we set out to have. Example and test folder. And then of course the profile is 007 that we uploaded earlier. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next video.